game changer. Take on Alfredo, but like this is gonna look, sound crazy, but it's really good. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. I do videos on fitness, nutrition, and just lifestyle videos. But today, we're doing a what I eat in a day, and I'm so excited to show you guys all these new recipes. Not recipes, but like things I've really been eating a lot since quarantine, um, because I've been eating at home a lot. But yeah, um, I haven't done one of these in forever, I feel like, and I love making these because I love watching them. Um, but yeah, I did a little poll on my Instagram and did, should I do a what I eat in a day or a spring favorites video and it literally was 50 50 so we're gonna film on both so I don't know what one you'll see first but they're both coming and yeah I am really excited to show you guys this today so my plan is really just to track everything I eat too in my fitness pal I'm um, just gonna give you guys a rough estimate of what I eat because when people do that in their videos I like watching it so I'm just gonna Morning. do it for you guys. okay I'm gonna keep this one short because I'm looking a little rough and I'll make my intro later but I just got home from the gym. It is 8 o'clock on the dot, actually. I got up at 6 and went and did an upper body core workout with my brother. And I'm hungry. So I did do that fasted. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go make some breakfast. I'm actually pretty hungry. And I kind of think I know what I want. So we're going to go make that. And I'll show you guys what I eat so in a breakfast, day. we're whipping up some toast. I'm going to do two pieces of this, like, Sara Lee Delight healthy multi-grain bread. I'm gonna make like a little Greek yogurt parfait with some fruit, some just random fruit that I have. And then on my toast, I'm gonna throw some egg whites on there. And my freaking little tip is to use this little waffle maker. It heats up in like literally like two seconds and it's super easy and it's super easy to clean up rather than like a freaking whole pan. So yeah, I'm gonna make that and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I just made my breakfast and I have my Greek yogurt, on blueberries, mango, and strawberries. And then I just have toast with like a little bit of butter. Like I think it was like two or three grams of butter. And then I did 90 grams of egg whites or something. I don't know. I have it in my fitness pal. Is 24 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat, and 21 grams of protein. So... There we go. Pretty solid, 200 calories. So typically, I would put like avocado under this instead of butter because avocado is obviously a lot healthier, but we have no avocado. And I didn't really know what else to put on it. So I did that and I put everything but the bagel seasoning in just like a little dill. And oh my God, if you like dill, like just try it. It's so, so good. Like this doesn't probably look like super appetizing, but it tastes so good. Really, really, really need to get better at is drinking water. So I'm gonna try to fill this up and drink it. Hi guys, so it is approximately 1 o'clock. I just got home from work and showered, but before work, or before I showered and everything, I just got home and I was like starving, and so I had a real quick snack, and I had these, okay, it's not healthy, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hide from you. Animal crackers from Costco are amazing, and so I had some of those before I showered because I was super hungry, but I felt so gross because I didn't have time to shower before I went to work this morning. So I just really wanted to shower. Um, so now I'm not really that hungry because I literally just ate these. So I'm going to wait a little bit until I'm more hungry, obviously. And I think I'm just going to bust out some of the coursework for my personal training thingy. Probably for like half hour, an hour, and then probably make lunch. That's my plan. But yeah, these things, guys, I'm not going to lie. They're like cookies. Like They're really good. And they're, they're not good for you. Like 22 grams of carbs, 6 grams of sugar. Organic wheat flour, organic cane sugar, organic palm oil. Okay, so they're not as bad as I thought. At least they're organic. Like, cookies. They're not like the puffy animal crackers. I don't like those. Those are gross. These ones, game changer. And sometimes I put these in Greek yogurt and dip it. And it's like a little dip, but we I ran out of it this morning, so. Okay, so it's about two o'clock so i'm having kind of a late lunch but it's because i snacked earlier so pretty much this pasta dish i've been making a lot 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 lately it's really really good it sounds disgusting and weird but trust me it's really good um so i do like the carrot noodles from trader joe's i love these like i swear by them if you follow my instagram you'll you i eat them all the time and they're um kind of mixed in with just this like stir fry veggie mix just to kind of like add something to it we just had it in my fridge, so I threw it in there. 
But then it's kind of like a little like take on Alfredo, but like obviously I would never eat that. Um, so I made it like a healthier version. So, okay, I'm bracing you guys. This is gonna look, sound crazy, but it's really good. So you use just plain Greek yogurt, not obviously the vanilla, but just plain. Then I just throw in kind of a bunch of random seasonings, but I always use a ton of Parmesan cheese because I love Parmesan and it tastes really good with it. And then I also just throw in some nutritional yeast for like an extra cheesy flavor. Um, salt, and then I just do some garlic powder just because I think it helps the taste a little bit. Not that it tastes bad, but it just makes it taste better. So I pretty much just throw it all into the bowl and mix it up and I'll show you when I'm done. But I use about half a serving of Greek yogurt, so like 75 grams. Um, and then I still need to think of like a protein to throw into this because obviously there will only be like roughly like 15 grams max without an additional protein source. So we're gonna figure that out. But for now, that's what we got going on. Okay, so far I just have the Greek yogurt in it, but it just kind of looks like a creamy veggie pasta, honestly. Um, the Greek yogurt just does a really good job at playing in as like a cream sauce. <clears throat> And then I add in about <laughs> four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, but that's probably unnecessary if we're being honest. I just really, really like Parmesan cheese. And it just helps the taste. Like, it just tastes so good with it. Okay, tell the camera. That is good. Thank you. So pretty much it looks like disgusting, but if you think about it, if you think of it like as just like a, fr like a pasta, it's not bad. So... So, I just added a little bit more salt and Parmesan cheese. I'm going to pop back in the microwave because obviously the Greek yogurt is kind of cold because it's oh God, in the fridge. Jake, pick those up before Lacey eats them. And then I just found some chicken in my fridge that I'm just going to throw in there. And it's pretty much just a chicken veggie pasta and it's so good. And it's kind of like satisfying like you're eating an Alfredo pasta or something like not so healthy. But it is really healthy and you get a lot of veggies in that way so y'all don't knock until you try it even maddie said the same thing because i made this the other day and it is really good and now jake's eating it because it's so good so that is my lunch i'll put in the macros at the bottom once i add everything into my fitness pal but it's actually a pretty macro friendly meal also so turns out we have no chicken we just have fajita chicken so i'm pretty much just warming up some chicken in a different bowl i'm just gonna eat fajita chicken on the side to get protein in and i love fajita chicken so it's really weird it's kind of a weird combo because they don't mix well at all that's why I'm not mixing them together because like Parmesan and creamy stuff with fajita it's disgusting so we're not gonna do that we're just gonna eat them separately but that's so lunch Maddie and I are eating chocolate covered strawberries really into the diet plan um Jason is thanks Brady really in my diet plan thank you Brady oh, oh. <laughs> and so are these tater tots <laughs> oh my God. sorry about this whole situation but I forgot to film an outro and I forgot to film my, explain my dinner. But pretty much me and Maddie were out doing stuff until like 8.30. And we came home and just ate a bunch of chicken, which is super typical for me. I do that a lot. And then we had some potatoes and then we had tater tots, which I shouldn't probably, I don't recommend that. But balance, me and Maddie love tater tots, so we ate some tater tots. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's life. So that was dinner, really good. Quite full, actually. Um, And overall, my macros, I'll throw them on the screen, but... They were a little lower, um, but I, I was just full today. Like, I just genuinely, like, I'm full. And I'm a little low on protein, so I would have probably liked to have, like, a higher protein snack or side to my meals. Um, or just, like, snack in general or maybe, like, another protein snack. Um, and it's 10 o'clock right now, so if I get hungry again, I'll probably eat protein. If I eat anything, I'll film it for you guys. But, yeah. But pretty much that was my full day of eating. Um, it was really realistic, and that's why... I want to make those for you guys. I don't want to just like make a full day of eating and make it look like I get all these cool, ex exotic, fancy recipes every single day. I don't. Once in a while, I do like to make a fun meal and actually put in effort. But most of the time, oh my god, <laughs> um, I just kind of throw things together quickly, keep them semi healthy. But I don't eat perfect every single day. Most days, I don't really eat tater tots or animal crackers as a snack. I like to eat more protein throughout my day. But that's just life, and like that's kind of what we're working with. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this is going on right now, but, um, yeah.